सी आई ई टी एन सी आर टी प्रेजेंट करिकुलम बेस्ड सीरीज ध्वनि शाला सो लेट्स ज्वाइन इन ध्वनि शाला क्लास एट लेट एस स्टार्ट टू डेज टॉक विद अ शॉर्ट स्टोरी इट वॉज अ सनी हॉट वेदर आउटसाइड उजाला एंड उज्जवल बोथ द चिल्ड्रेन रिटर्न फ्रॉम द स्कूल दे वर टायर्ड एंड हंग्री द स्कूल बैग फेल्ट ऑल द मोर हैवी राइट नाउ दे नॉक द डोर एंड अम्मा देर मदर ओपन द डोर दे वर स्वेटिंग उजाला सेट अम्मा आई एम टायर्ड टू डे Ujwal said, "And hungry too. What is there for lunch?" Amma smiled. She said, "Go, freshen up, and check out yourself." The buttermilk is also kept in the glass on the table. But remember, you have to finish one chapati and rice in any case. Okay, Ma," uttered both of them. they kept their school bag and water bot- bottle in their room took out the empty lunch box kept them in the kitchen for washing and went to get freshen up now try to observe what all things were used in this story school bag door buttermilk chapati and rice etc they have all been used by ujala and ujwal so they have utility utility or usability is what makes an object or substance a resource you must be wondering how does something becomes a resource anything becomes a resource only when they are useful in satisfying the needs of human beings or they have a value in this case school bag door buttermilk chapati etc are resources the use or usability or utility of any material gives it a value all resources have some value value means worth some resources have economic value while some do not have for example metals may have an economic value but beautiful landscape may not but both are important and satisfy human needs some resources may not be economically valuable right now but can become with time your grandmother's home remedies have no commercial value today but if they are patented and sold by a medical firm tomorrow they could become economically valuable isn't it now the question arises what does patent mean it means the exclusive right over any idea or invention you can try making a list of those resources that are regarded as having no commercial value i will give you a few hints medical knowledge old folk songs etc time and technology are two important factors that can change substances into resources by technology i here mean the application of latest knowledge and skill in doing or making things both are related to the needs of the people technology is the application of latest knowledge and skill in doing or making things people themselves are the most important resource it is their ideas knowledge inventions and discoveries that lead to the creation of resources each discovery or invention leads to many others 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल द डिस्कवरी ऑफ फायर लेड टू द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ कुकिंग एंड अदर प्रोसेस वाइल द इन्वेंशन ऑफ व्हील Ultimately resulted in development of newer modes of transportation. The technology to create hydroelectricity has turned energy in fast flowing water into an important resource. Let us proceed further and now learn about classification of resources. Resources can be classified in different types the most common classification is of first natural resources and second human made resources first we will be discussing about natural resources resources that are drawn from nature and used without much modification are called natural resources the air we breathe the water in our rivers and lakes the soils minerals forests are all natural resources many of these resources can be used directly in some cases tools and technology may be needed to use a natural resource in the best possible way natural resources can be broadly categorized further into renewable and non-renewable resources first renewable resources renewable resources are those which get renewed or replenished quickly some of these are unlimited and are not affected by human activities such as solar and wind energy yet careless use of certain renewable resources like water soil and forest can affect their stock water seems to be an unlimited renewable resource but shortage and drying up of natural water sources is a major problem in many parts of the world and even in india today you must have heard programs on water conservation on radio a series called pani started in 2019 even the prime minister of india shri narendra modi has talked about water as a precious resource and ways of conserving water in his man ki baat you must have also come across news in the newspapers on this issue now the second natural resources is non renewable resources non renewable resources are those which have a limited stock once the stocks are exhausted it may take thousands of years to be renewed or replenished since this period is much more than human life spans such resources are considered non renewable coal petroleum and natural gas are some examples the distribution of natural resources depends upon number of physical factors like terrain climate and altitude the distribution of resources is unequal because these factors differ so much over the earth now the second major classification of resources is human made resources sometimes natural substances become resources only when their original form has been changed for example iron ore was not a resource until people learned to extract iron from it people use natural resources to make buildings bridges roads machinery 
and vehicles which are known as human made resources technology is also a human made resource did you know human beings are also considered as resources and they are known as human resources human resource refers to the number or quantity and abilities which includes mental and physical of the people though there are differing views regarding treatment of humans as a resource one cannot deny the fact that it is the skills of human that help in transferring the physical material into a valuable resource people can make the best use of nature to create more resources when they have the knowledge skill and the technology to do so that is why human beings are a special resource people are human resources education and health help in making people a valuable resource it must be coming into your mind so i am a resource to a valuable one <laughs> yes even you me and all of us are resources improving the quality of people's skills so that they are able to create more resources is known as human resource development we talked about resources and how they get used and even exhausted for example in case of water let us talk about conservation of resources using resources carefully and giving them time to get renewed is called resource conservation balancing the need to use resources and also conserve them for the future is called sustainable development sustainable development means carefully utilizing resources so that besides meeting the requirements of the present also takes care of future generations that means sustainable development takes care of the present generation as well as the future generations there are certain principles of sustainable development these are respect and care for all forms of life second is improve the quality of human life third is conserve the earth's vitality and diversity fourth is minimize the depletion of natural resources next is change personal attitude and principles towards the environment and last is enable communities to care for their own environment there are many ways of conserving resources each person can contribute by reducing consumption recycling and reusing things ultimately it makes a difference because all our lives are linked the future of our planet and its people is linked with our ability to maintain and preserve the life supporting system that nature provides therefore it is our duty to ensure that all uses of renewable resources are sustainable and next that the diversity of life on the earth is conserved and also that the damage to natural environmental system is minimized now i will read out few initiatives towards conservation of water 
these are community driven actions and are taken from the web page of south asia network on dams rivers and people or sandrp uttarakhand in pithoragarh district a joint action undertaken in 312 villages have successfully implemented spring shed management project they adopted catchment area approach by identifying sources of springs understanding their history and doing a diagnosis of the issues due to which they are drying up before identifying areas that need to be rejuvenated so this was the story of pithoragarh district in uttarakhand another inspiring tale is from podi district where three villages in thalisen tehsil have been putting in sustained efforts in creating water recharge pits for years including the plantation and forest protection ultimately leading to the revival of water sources and gadh ganga a small stream part of east nayar river basin now we will be switching to sikkim in sikkim the dhara vikas group involves villagers in reviving springs and streams that provide drinking water to over 80% of the state's rural households as part of the sikkim government's dhara vikas program launched in 2008 to 9 the rural management and development department has so far mapped 704 springs for rejuvenation now another story is from maharashtra so we are moving from north to northeast to maharashtra now western part of india The Pani Foundation has been running Water Cup an inter village competition for water conservation work in drought prone areas of Maharashtra annually In 2016 about 116 villages from 3 talukas participated in the competition In 2017 over 1300 villages from 30 talukas took part in the competition in which no losses out says amir khan in 2018 over 4000 villages from 75 talukas took part in the competition the program also tries to involve urban people through chala gavi almost 25000 people came and on may 1 2018 jal mitra maha shamdan with about 1.3 lakh volunteering however if this program is having a sustainable equitable impact on water security is a question that still remains unanswered for lack of independent assessment these were some of the success stories and efforts made by the community in conservation of water resource there are many such individual and community efforts access to clean and adequate water sources is a major problem facing the world today steps have 
to be taken to conserve this dwindling resource even though water is a renewable resource its overuse and pollution make it unfit for use discharge of untreated or partially treated sewage agricultural chemicals and industrial effluents in water bodies are major contaminants they pollute water with nitrates metals and pesticides most of these chemicals are non biodegradable and reach human bodies through water water pollution can be controlled by treating these effluents suitably before releasing them in the water bodies forest and other vegetation cover slow the surface runoff and replenish groundwater water harvesting is another method to save surface runoff the canals used for irrigating field should be properly lined to minimize losses by water seepage sprinklers effectively irrigate the area by checking water losses through seepage and evaporation have you seen sprinklers try to find out in dry regions with high rates of evaporation drip or trickle irrigation is very useful the valuable water resource can therefore be conserved by adopting these means of irrigation similar to water resource conservation of natural resources like forest and wildlife is also very important there is a balance in the environment if the relative number of species is not disturbed human activities in several parts of the world have disturbed the natural habitats of many species due to this indiscriminate killings several birds and animals have either become extinct or are on the verge of extinction we will be discussing about each of these resources in greater detail in the next chapter conservation of not only one but all the resources is important let us recapitulate what we learned today today we learned about first resources what are they and how a material can be called a resource then we learned about types of resources then conservation of resources and then we also got to know some of the success stories of conservation of water resources now get ready for question and answer session are you ready let's go answer the following questions first is why are resources distributed unequally over the earth second one is what is resource conservation third is why are human resources important and fourth is what is sustainable development now try finding out answers to all these questions now second question is choose the correct answer from the given options first one is which one of the following does not make substance a resource a utility b 
value and C quantity. Find out. Second question is which one of the following is a human made resource? A. Medicines to treat cancer. B. Spring water. And C. Tropical forest. Yes, it's A. Medicines to treat cancer. This is a human made resource, while others are natural resources. Now complete the statement. Non-renewable resources are A. Those which have limited stock B. Made by human beings and C. Derived from non-living things Yes, it's A. Those which have limited stock These are called non-renewable resources So friends, I hope you must have understood the concept of resource, types of resource, conservation of resource, etc. We will learn about few other resources and few other things in the next chapter. Till then, bye. So friends, you were just listening to the series Dhwani Shala. Production assistants Minakshi Kukreti and Tanu Gupta. Recorded by Shanu Muksim and Vikas Sangwan. Produced by Vandana Arimardan. This program is brought to you by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India.